Hey everyone, Carrie Magro here. I'm on here unfortunately to talk about the backlash a celebrity YouTuber named Micah Stouffer is receiving after she adopted a boy with autism three years ago named Huxley and she decided to rehome him um, and give him away uh, because of the difficulty and the challenges that she was having with him. And often in our autism community, one of the quotes I use based on my journey growing up on the autism spectrum is autism doesn't come with an instruction guide. It comes with a family who will never give up. But that's not necessarily the case for all of our families in our community. You know, this woman who posted a video explaining giving up Huxley, uh, she has over 700,000 YouTube followers. I'm not here to judge a family. I'm not, because I don't know what happens behind the scenes in, in everyday life. So I, I try not to judge. I would love to hear your perspectives on this situation, but immediately after she posted the video, the hashtag cancel Muxley family was going viral. Uh, I was trending on Twitter. But there were also a lot of comments that were coming in, and I wanted to read a few of them to you today. Uh, one of them says, here's the thing. Those of us with autistic kids, we had no idea we were going to have them. We figured it out, we advocated, we learned, and we showed up for our kids. Another, uh, actually a fan of hers tweeted, Okay, but this Micah Stouffer stuff makes me really sad because I've watched her since before she adopted Huxley. And when I watched the video, it absol made absolutely no sense. Your child was too hard to handle, so you give him back like a gift receipt? That poor, sweet thing. And then there was another tweet that was pushed out, uh, which actually included a change.org petition asking for the family to actually stop monetizing the videos that Huxley are in. One suggestion that I was kind of thinking about with that is if they're not going to stop monetizing those videos, give the money to Huxley to support him for the rest of his, his life. Just the money from those videos alone, I'm sure, could give him a really good nest egg that he could use for the rest of his life. Now this family, they, they also have four other children. And again, I don't know all the aspects of this, but I think that might be something that would really, really help the family. And I only hope for people who are watching this is I couldn't imagine, you know, growing up with autism, I dealt with a wide range of challenges and I could never imagine my parents giving me up in a million years. And I can only hope that Huxley is in a better place with hopefully a better family who will take care and love him and uh, hopefully that can support him in, in every single thing in his life. So I know that there are a lot of angry, upset families right now. Again, I don't want to, to, I try not to judge based on what I don't understand, but in this situation, it's just so hard um, for Huxley to be in, especially having to transition to a new situation now. Um, but I. That I just wanted to come on today and just talk a little bit about this because I know it's upsetting a lot of our families right now.